you get a thermometer, you get a thermometer, everybody gets a thermometer. Yo, motherhood, you can just openly discuss poop without feeling ashamed. <laughs> guys welcome welcome back to my channel miss Lokesho here and today i want to share my tips and tricks about teething yes baby teething mm -hmm. yeah um so i've been experiencing zuri has been me <laughs> zuri has been experiencing teething uh ever since she was four months but i think this month from yeah from this month is when the teeth have started have started coming out and all that so i've been experiencing more of the hectic symptoms this month so i told myself no this is something i think i should share with fellow mummies um some things that you need when the babies are teething and yeah just tips and tricks that um i have used basically throughout this whole teething process because it is still continuing yes <laughs> If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, join the farm for some tips and tricks. And yeah, let me know if I have missed anything in the comments uh, down below. Um, let's chat and yeah, let's get into this video. So the first thing I think it's very important to know is how to identify if your baby is actually teething. Um, so number one, yes, I wrote them down when your when your baby starts drooling a lot um yeah so that usually happens when that's just the first stage of um teething like a lot of drooling so zuri did that when she was about four months she started drooling like quite a bit and i was like mm -mm. so many people told me now nah, the teeth are coming out so they will not necessarily come out immediately they start drooling some kids take longer um but they actually like you like start um the gums start itching that's why they they start drooling so something's happening inside the gums even if you're not actually seeing the teeth um but something is actually happening so that's why they are drooling a lot second thing that you'll notice if your baby is teething is sucking and chewing everything guys if i tell you zuri is chewing everything my people everything <laughs> chewing and sucking everything like she can just come on me and just start like sucking on my <laughs> on my body so i have to make sure i'm clean like 24 7 like anything even my braid she pulls my braids guys like so you have to sort of be careful of yeah yeah that's when now you have to start be, being careful and looking around because they can chew on literally anything just to get that um itchy sensation out of their mouth yeah that's why they chew and suck on everything the kids now tend to become fussy this is like when i feel like this is like the progress stage of teething when the teeth actually start coming out you'll notice that they're becoming more fussy than they usually are um yeah this happened to me like two weeks ago <laughs> yeah um she became super fussy and she did not want anyone and i was wondering what is it what is it but it was actually the teething guys um that can actually affect them to a point that they become super fussy because i think the pain also affects them like when you're in pain obviously you're not going your mood will change and i think that's what hap that's actually what happens to them so yeah please be um gentle during that time I know it's going to be like a drastic change from the normal you know if maybe they are your child is normally independent or does their own thing then all of a sudden they just become fussy out of nowhere um, it actually could be teething so look out for that you'll notice that their pool is changing um, it could be running for example for Zuri it became running like she had a running tummy sort of situation and yeah I think that's also brought about by the dirt they eat. They eat a lot of things, guys. Zuri eats everything. She eats our table mats. She eats... I, and you turn, she's already taken it. Like, it's not like it's something that you're giving her. I actually give her the... And this is why you need to introduce things like teethers. And that and teething toys. I'll explain that later. But yeah, she, will, she eats everything. And I think that results to the weird 
poop because all that dirt needs to come out somehow so yeah if you notice that the poop has become weird or runny just observe it could be an actual running stomach or it could just be the teething poop yeah motherhood you can just openly discuss poop without feeling ashamed <laughs> yes 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 this is it this is motherhood at its core yes we discuss poo here <laughs> the symptom is um change of routine like um for me zuri had like by this time the routine was proper like when she used to nap she had her nap time she had her eating time everything was set and i used to make sure as in as routines that i if it's midday it's already it's feeding time she eats if it's what so she got used to that routine life but huh, with the teething everything changed because sometimes they don't have an appetite and sometimes like the sleeping pattern changes like it's so hectic and yeah if you notice like a drastic change of like routine it could be actually that it that it it actually could it hmm, it could be that the teething is actually bothering them. The last thing is you'll actually see the teeth sticking out at the, um, then you'd know actually the teeth are coming out. Um, or sometimes like I would, uh, cause she would literally take my finger and put it in her mouth. You could actually feel like these, um, um, like uh, I felt like, like the the gums were not as smooth as they were and then within a day i actually saw the t the teeth coming the tooth coming out and yeah don't be alarmed if the tooth it comes out one by one because like my mom kept telling me but where is the other tooth no guys i feel like kids everybody goes in their own even in life you go with your own pace so you you don't expect children to be the same if your first child for example had two teeth at the same time it won't exactly guarantee that your second child would be the same um yeah so my mom had never seen for example like um a child that has one tooth then the other so zuri's uh, teeth came out one by one literally one came out and grew and then the other one came out so don't panic so long as the teeth are coming out that's all that matters <laughs> So let's talk about um, teething essentials, guys. What you need during this teething um, process. The first thing, because um, when they're teething, you'd also notice another symptom is the fever. Like, there'll be a slight fever. The baby will be feeling hot. And the first thing that you need, I feel like this is essential 24 seven, teething or not teething, is thermometers. I have so many of them, like, you get a thermometer you get a thermometer everybody gets a thermometer i have these things everywhere i have one in the diaper bag i have one just chilling in the living room i have <laughs> i have a, a digital one just in case i don't trust this one. <laughs> i have so many thermometers but yeah you need um thermometers to um, check the temperature if you feel like the baby is too hot always check and yeah if the temperature is a bit too high um then you can do something about it maybe give the baby a lukewarm bath see if the the temperature will go down if it doesn't then you can um give um medication so let's jump into the <laughs> medication um the second thing you need to have is some type of medication um i have panado i have calpo I have uh, and the actual teething um, gels that will help um, that you need to have that at home because sometimes they can just start crying because they're actually in pain their gums are actually so itchy and sore and you might not need to give them uh, panado or um, calpo but it could be just an issue that their teeth need to be rubbed yeah that that could actually just be the issue so you actually need to have teething gel or something something that you can use to actually like rub the baby's teeth um you also need um for me personally i wash her gums so i i have this you can use a warm cloth with warm water uh yeah just a cloth with warm water or um i have this thin cloths um i'm gonna put it here somewhere I'm gonna show it to you this thin cloth that I use and I rub her gums with it 
every morning and every evening um that's aside from the actual teething gel and the stuff that i use just you know during the day if she just starts like <laughs> screaming and putting her fingers in her mouth i have something else for that that's the actual teething gel but i use um every morning and every evening that i actually scrub the gums and i think it 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 does it relieves her and ever since i started doing that like even twice a day thrice a day i've seen a huge difference from the past and everything i've used less panado less um um Calpol, you know to relieve the fever to relieve the pain and stuff like that. So I just rub um, Another important thing with teething is the teething toys guys. Some people use teething mittens. I've seen so many um, Variations of these things, but these ones are the ones that I prefer because I can actually put them in the fridge and they can chill and then I give them to her. What I do is I just wash them properly um, put them in the fridge for a couple of hours and then I give them to her and she seems to enjoy these and so if one is in the and I have I'd like to have more than one because if one is in the fridge the other one is in use so I can always have them at a time another thing that I read you can always also use the pacifier you can put a pacifier put it in the fridge for a couple of um, hours and then give them whatever you think that is going to benefit them yeah so um those are the things that i personally use to suit um zuri's teething and yeah um they seem to work for me um uh, this one i don't know if you watched my vlogmas uh, my friend lucia bought it for me and it's been serving as well i said um i'm gonna do a little review uh about it yeah basically i just wash it put it in the fridge give it to her and she loves it and i prefer this one because she can actually eat anything here and on the sides they also have these grooves so she enjoys different textures with this one so she seems to enjoy this one more and yeah it's really been helping me out with the tea thing as a mommy and she seems to enjoy it that's all that matters if your baby enjoys it if your baby if you're using teething mittens if you're using these um teething toys whatever you're using so long as your baby seems to enjoy them and tries not to eat anything else i think you've actually done a good job as a mommy so that's it from me guys thank you so much for watching this don't forget to share like subscribe drop your tips let me know i if i missed any teething tips down there and let's comment let's and let's chat in the comments i'll see you guys zuri's crawling to me <laughs> bye